I'm not wearing uh, much clothing on purpose. It's one of those nights. We're gonna have a good time. Good vibes only. We're, we're gonna we're gonna wake up with uh, we're gonna warm up here with a rapid game. Let's warm up with a rapid game. Let me go knight f6. What's up, Gritty Willis? How you doing? Buddha Ud, yeah, sir. Hey, man. Alrighty, let's go for the Nimzo. I'm waiting for my protein shake. The guys went to the gym. Sam Chess, thanks for a thousand bits, man. Queen c2 Nimzo. What should we play? I'll just castle. They fit for now? Yeah, yeah, but then you wash them. You don't wash jeans very often, but when you wear them for, let's say, a month without washing, then you, like, wash your jeans rarely. So, this. What do I do? Do I go C5? Taking doesn't feel right. And Psych, thanks to the six months, tier three! Okay, Gritty Willis. I'll do what you want. Gritty Willis wants this, I'll do it for him. Because he bought a toque. Begging, begging you. Philippe, thanks for the sub. Let me grab. Now I want to take, because he moved his bishop, so I get get a move out of there. 9 to 8, yeah, 9 to 8 with a $50. Let's go. Cheers, I got some water here. Appreciate that 50. There we go. Thank you for the protein shake. There we go. Thank you, Alan. Mmm. 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 Alrighty. Let's just throw this move in because it looks cool. I want to displace this queen. Ideally, I want the queen to go to d1, then I can take. Um. Okay, let me take. Take. Alright, we'll try to play against the structure. I don't know, it's a normal looking position. White's probably pretty happy with this outcome. If they can get an e4, e5. Red Ribbon next to the two years, man. Philippe, you too, man. Alright, we're going back to Techno. That was just, uh... We'll start with a classic song right now, Sacrifice by Sarah Landry. 24 hour stream at 10k subs. Oh, at 10k subs, we'll have more than a 24 hour stream. We'll have top players in the world, top 10 players. We'll have Yasser. We'll have a lot of special events at 10k subs. It'll be a lot more than 24 hours. You know, you're gonna see some big guys with big elos. Thank you, Yeah928, for the 50. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Am I concerned about losing this pawn? If I am, queen d6 defends both. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty. Um. Rook here, pawn takes pawn. I have queen d5. Hey, Fat Rhyme, welcome if you're from the Age of Empires community. We're, we're trying to have a good time here. Okay, let's go Rook C8. I can always win the pawn back with Queen D5. Depends how thirsty I am. Depends how thirsty you guys are. Okay, now I'm going to go Knight here. Because now I'm defending with the Rook. C4 looks like a juicy square. Yasser said, Nicholas sent me over. You weren't here to begin with, Yasser? Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise, Yas Yasser, you've been hiding. Hi, Yasser. Let's go, Rick, here. Nicola sent everyone here. Thank you, Nicola. As long as this bishop doesn't get too open, I mean, it's not really a position that white should be too thrilled about. 
because it's not easy to... I mean, C4 is ideal, probably. Eclipse, thanks for the raid as well. Thanks, Zephyr. Some, I was thinking about this maneuver. Something looks juicy about the light squares. It's necessary. So C C4 would clog the bishop, but there is A4 and bishop A3. So, and the drawback of C4 is it strengthens white center, because I don't have any more pressure. Hey, thanks, Ascalius. I have two of these, and I never wash them, as the stream knows. You're right, Valentini. <coughs> Already. That's a solid move. I was thinking about uh, just going knight e4. I might have f6, sometimes I'll have a fork. And worst case scenario, I can drop back to d6 and still challenge the light squares. All right, then f6 is coming. Once this knight moves, ideally queen d3 would be good because after f6, the knight has to go here. But I can go f6 and knight c4 now. You faced the guy playing the Fred earlier. That's right, we released a video featuring the Fred this week. I'm on, testing it out. I, I think I'm gonna... I don't need to go f6 right away. I could, I could wait. Could wait. Oh, that's a mouse slip. Oh, that's a, I tried to play f6. Oh man, I, what a bad, this move makes, jeez. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not a good, this. I went bouldering this week and uh, for the first time ever, um, and I got calluses, like like some skin fell off, and I swear, like I can't control the mouse right now. The, the bouldering, I couldn't, I couldn't climb. Two hundred fifteen pounds were, were too heavy. I kept falling down. Jeez, it's it's the hands. The hands are, are rough right now. This is such a shame. I had a nice looking position. Hey King Jodoro. Jeez Louise, my delicate chess hands weren't used to it. Delicate. Very delicate. I'm a delicate flower. It's very delicate. Oh, I'm, I'm a delicate. delicate. That's that's weird to hear the echo. Already. On the other hand, I like sacrificing the exchange, but that was not intentional. I have two knights against the bishop. So let's start with knight c4. Metal Eagle, thanks for gifting this out there. It's not easy, it's not easy. I have quite a few pieces on the board. The, the annoying thing is I have knights, and a knight outpost on c4 is uh, uh, hard to reach for white's pieces. It's hard to hard to trade things off, you know what I mean? Jonas donates $3. You're a cool guy, good luck for your channel, but you're close, sacrilegious. You don't like the clothes? You don't like the jorts? Let me give you another look. You're going to bed, Yasser. Yasser? Yasser treats me like a disposable Tinder date. He comes here for a couple minutes and he leaves. No commitment whatsoever, Yasser. Good night. You have other people to, to see, I guess. Yasser, before you go, you have to. I have something that might make you stay longer. I have I have jean shorts. I bought jean shorts. Very very fashionable. See. You know, Yas. This is this is the dad bought shuffle. It's, uh, it gets all the boys to the yard. My jorts bring all the boys to the yard, and they're like... Too tight, it's the legs. My legs are big. These are my, this is my size. Just my legs are big. I can't help it. No, my, my legs are very big. It's just a camera, I, I swear, I'm a size 31 waist, these are size 32. And my legs just don't fit. Even on the large, they don't fit. But you don't want to buy jean shorts that are too uh, loose around the waist. You don't want to do that. Because you never want to wear a belt and stuff like that. Like, that's not not a good look. That's not a good look. Wow. 
This is an athletic fit. I bought G Star. They're stretchy. Did Yasser leave? Did my pitch not work? It worked for Sinal Oyster, I think. I, don't be hating on the jean shorts. You have to make me feel good about the purchase. It's too early to, to, to do that. One second. It's tempting to close down the position. I'm just not sure how to do that. These are nice shorts. Um, don't be hating. Just because my legs fill them up. That's a good thing. Do I go queen d6? Ideally, I want white to take on c5 so that they're stuck with a nice later pawn. There's this variation. Okay. And then d4 is hanging. I'm rocking it. I'm rocking it. I'm rocking the the jean shorts. You guys, you guys are stuck at home, and you're just hating. Well, I'm gonna take these jean shorts, and I'm gonna go on Tinder dates, Mr. Prem. I just don't want to tell you guys how much I paid for them. Then you'd stop subbing to the channel. Jorts are, are trending right now. Jorts are trending. Thank you, Chespe, for the three years of the pink sleeveless shirt. Fear Games, thanks to the Twitch Prime 30 months. I'm getting a lot of subs for the jorts. That's that's what I'm I, I can infer. I need to stream in comfort, and this is comfortable. I did not buy a Tesla short shorts. I wasn't, at first I forgot you were talking about the shorts that Elon listed. I thought you were making a joke that I bought, I shorted Tesla. Which I will not do out of, you know, out of principle. Yeah, you guys have small legs. That's my, my guess. Let me go E5, I got my two knights. I've tried to like complain to Logitech that the cameras don't represent my, my legs, but it's not working very well, unfortunately. I have a cool move here. Now, do I think it's very effective? No, but does it look good? Yes. Just simply um, rook c3. You can take because of an 82 check, but you don't have many squares. If here I have rook c2, you can't go here because takes, rook here is not checkmate, I can block with f8. But uh, I have a very centralized strong knight here. I have a pawn, I picked up a pawn during that whole process, so yeah. not bad, not bad. If queen here, I'll probably play queen c5. I think people are subbing for jorts. Where is Benjamin Bach? Is he scared of him? I'm not sure where he is. Uh, th those guys are beefing right now. Let's get to back to 8,500 subs, shall we? One, one jord at a time. What do I do after queen e2? I go rook, well, first of all, queen e2 doesn't threaten anything, right? Queen e2 threatens nothing, because the rook is still 
I uh, still got this trick. So I can do whatever I want. I'm thinking about g5, h5, to just give my king some air, sort of like getting some jorts to give, you know, wear some looser clothing in the summer. It's hot, gotta make sure I cover the bases. So let's, let's go h5. No, I never have to worry about getting back ranked. Dubs, thanks to the Twitch Prime, man, 33 months. H5, Rook, C1, you don't like? I also don't like it. That hangs the game, Philippe. Uh, I just take it and go Knight E2, and you're gonna be... Uh... Oh yeah, I'm on Chess TV, I forgot. So probably showing my legs is a bit inappropriate. I do apologize. I apologize to people who saw that. Uh, I'm wearing Chess TV, and I should probably keep my weapons uh, hidden. So I'm just trying to be super annoying. A central, why are knights good when they're centralized? Because when they're centralized, they, they have the most reach, you know? And you can just count if you're curious. This is like four, five. Oh, that's a good move. He's gonna get the pieces traded off. Okay, respect, respect. But I don't think this position is easy, so. Let me go G5. It's not easy to convert. Carlson, a great, thanks to the five gifted subs. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna play fast, because I'm down the exchange after that unfortunate mouse slip, but I have compensation, I have real compensation here. I gotta finish my protein trick. So, why these moves? Because I'm definitely looking to box this king in. I have a very active rook, I have a pretty active knight, and white is gonna have back rank issues. They can't go g3 because of this. h3, I'm gonna get h4, and then, I, I mean, even here, I think I can take. Take king up rook here, king up knight here. Yeah. Or I'm gonna rush my king over here. I have dark squares to penetrate. This is just a tasty shake, right? It's just a scoop of gold standard plus milk. How can you get big? You watch more chess bra. You watch more chess bra. here again here I'm gonna go 96 I want to trap this king on the side of the board <laughs> 96 looking thick solid and tight okay a good move. I'm trying to figure out should I go here right away? My Instagram's looking inactive. Well, how about we get a certain amount of followers today and then I'll post the picture. One second. 96 looks good. King takes, rook takes, king takes, knight here. I have at least a draw, but we're sort of looking for more than that, right? Mm. Scaro, that's an Amon Poggy mode, man. Enjoy it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm just trying to harass. Rook knight, his rooks are not connected, not coordinated. Um, I'd like to get my king off the back rank just to support these pawns and potentially box his king in. Plus an active king is good anyways. But uh, it helps that the rooks are not super active. It helps that my pieces, my knights just not only jumping into outposts, but blocking the rooks from, from activity. So he could consider here if he doesn't want to give up that pawn. Yeah, that makes sense. Out of curiosity, what happens if I go knight f4? King takes, I'm going to bring my king up. Or f6. Maybe f6 and bring my king to g6. Yeah, let's, let's go f6. 
so that I can set up a check mating threat. Nicola, thank you for the thousand bits. So G3, Rook H2 is mate. Rook C4 looks good, but then I'm going to bring my king to G6, and at least I don't get cut off. sure that was correct for me. Rook here, king here, rook takes. I don't know. This is going to be a uh, Jason Pierre. Thanks for the uh, 30 months, man. We're playing techno here, my dude. Techno, the techno industry is not getting, uh, we wouldn't be hit with DMCA. And if we do, it's a worthy, worthy cause. This is an underground chess channel. We don't have enough views anyways to get DMC8. Hey LBC, how you doing buddy? Hey Soul Healer. Do I need tighter drawers? I'm telling you. They're comfortable, they're fine. You can even work out in them. They are okay. So king g3, the problem is I have 92 check. So it's like um, a really nasty variation would be if I can somehow like take here, bring my knight back, his king will be stuck on g3 and I'll have almost a checkmating net. We'll see. But the king could get stuck here, be, be careful. Is g4 bad for white? Mm, I wouldn't say bad. I wouldn't say good either. Here, check, here, check, here. I can even play h4 and get an outside pass spawn, which is pretty nasty, for example, for ejemplo. Hobbit Gamer. Thanks for the reset. Why didn't I stream Tell Tuesday? Dude, it's 11 a.m. I have actually been like asleep during my most recent Tell Tuesdays. Like, I stream till 6 a.m. It's not easy to wake up and play a strong tournament at 11 a.m. Like, the quality of life is just not good. The If they had an evening Tell Tuesday or late afternoon, it'd be one thing, but 11 a.m. is brutal. I'm, I'm half asleep, and there's nothing worse than playing tilted because you, you're like asleep. I've been, what do you mean am I staying up till 6 a.m.? That means you haven't been watching the stream. I stream till 6 a.m. all the time. Did you, like last night, uh, Saturday night, last Tuesday night, we've done quite a few 6 a.m. streams. Oh, the gamer, thanks again. This is gonna get tricky for him. Here, you don't want to see a nasty variation. King g3, knight f4. Let's just say he goes for this pawn. I want him to take that pawn. I'm going to go rook d2. He's going to take. I'm going to go king g5. And he can't stop h4 checkmate. It's forced checkmate. So the reason it doesn't work with a rook on the 7th rank. A rank. The rank is when I play king g5, does rook g7 check. We'll see. He might consider sacking the exchange and just trying to draw an endgame. Down the pawn, but you guys know about rook endgames being drawn, right? So I think that's pretty reasonable. I think that's a very reasonable way to play. Well, by nature, guys, the king is on the side of the board. It's on the edge. There's, it's easier to checkmate a king on the edge. You should be looking a bit more because, I mean, they have fewer squares. What's up, St. Solaris? Dude, it's Eric Hansen. Do I know you? Most people here don't get excited. When they say it's Eric Hansen, they leave. So when you do all caps, dude, it's Eric Hansen, I'm curious. I'm very curious. 
Most people run for the hills. It's not usually positive. Donny Hub, thanks again for the eight months, man. All right, he's in a mating net. If the rook ever moves, I have rook g2 checkmate. Tier one, that means, uh, yeah. We have a twink, twink tier list. Tier one is the starting point. They're supporting the channel. Wait, this isn't checkmate. Am I dumb? Oh my word. That's not checkmate. What am I talking about? Yeah, this king can go here. Yikes. Okay. I'm hallucinating. Soul healer, thanks to tier 3. I have a draw. <clears throat> So the problem is when this rook takes, I can't go here because, again, rook check. My king needs to be on g5. We have to come up with something clever here, eh? So knight here, rook takes, king up, rook here is the annoying move. Because I don't have time to play the checkmate. Soul Healer, thanks for the sub, man. And Brewer's Rub, you too. Uh, we have to be very clever right now. Very clever. King G5, there's always Rook G7. We have to actually think. We have to think. Pause, focus, we have lots of time, use the clock. Yeah, but fix it, that's a repetition. King g5, rook check, king back, rook there, what did you accomplish? What have you accomplished in your life after king g5, rook check, king all the way back, rook back? Worth the try versus a draw? Uh, I... Uh, my opponent's 1900 rapid. That's that's actually a very good rating. They're not going to miss checkmates in one. There's also increment. So giving my opponent easy moves to build time is not favorable. He's offering a draw. Thank you, Master Anas, for the sub. Oof. We're not taking a draw here. I'm just thinking about what the what the um, best way to trick my opponent would be. I wait two fifteen, Wolf. I'm trying to cut, but we went for Taco Tuesday yesterday. And uh, I don't think the kiting is going very well after Taco Tuesdays. Yikes, Mexican food. And the boys also ordered queso, so I think I'm probably over 215 at this point. There's an interesting idea here of trying to sprint my king down the board and help facilitate checkmates. For example, knight here, king here, king here, rook check, my king can enter through f4. Check, he cannot move anywhere on the second because I have knight c3 check. Check, 
Chest bay, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. That came out of nowhere. You guys got gifted a sub. You know who to thank. We got some benefits there for the subs. Thank you, Chess Bay. That's a big one. The 20 gifted subs will, will help me find a move here. Money. Money always clears my, my head. More boar wants more. So knight check. This move here. Jeez. King H4 is actually really annoying in that variation. Rook g2 check, king h4, knight e2, king h3, rook g3 check, king h4, rook takes pawn. Conventional. I don't see a mating knight here. I see repetitions. I need that pawn to checkmate. Already. Let's try this. Let's decline the draw. I'd like to... I, I think the dad bot shuffle is very important here. If my king is stuck here and this rook starts getting active, then I could be in trouble. But if my king escapes, even if I don't checkmate white, I'll have a very tricky knight moves. Uh, I still have, like, a game to play there. But it's important to get my king out of the box. So now I'm threatening checkmate. Expect his king to move out. And then uh, rook check. Uh, king up takes. Takes. I have knight g1 with forced checkmate on h3. So king h3, rook g3 check. King down is forced. And there I'll take on f three which defends f6 and allows my king to hopefully run away hmm so I think this is forced. I mean, this move is too passive. Plus I have knight g1, which is a poke in the bum. Knight g1 in there. <laughs> you can't defend uh, f3 or rooks in a box. But um, there's probably other moves actually instead of knight g1 there. Um, let's see. This is gonna get tricky, man. King here, 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 takes. He takes this, his rooks are starting to get active. And then I think I have to start sprinting. It, thank you for this prime, busy. So yeah, he goes here, here, and I think I'm gonna immediately start traveling my king. Ideally, you know what the perfect variation is? King here, king here, rook check, king here. And king h3 would be like close to mate. So let's start the dad bot shuffle. There's a few concerning parts of this position actually. There's a move here that bothers me. Whether he finds it is a different situation. Hey Arden Canelio. Oh, we're doing we're doing jorts. There's a move here that disturbs me greatly. That's King G2. Because um King G2, if I have to go rook f4, then rook check. My king is forced to the edge. And then 
Okay, he didn't find it. He didn't find it, eh? Let's see here. King G2 somehow was very annoying. I think this gives me some chances, although... So here is still a good move. Eh, we can try to him. King here. Uh, greed is good. Thanks to the months. What should we do? Okay. There's knight here. Rook here is annoying as heck. Oof. This is starting to get uh, very dangerous, eh? Not dangerous as in I don't think I'm risking a loss, which I don't think I am, but I don't think I'm actually getting anywhere close to a win. And my king is actually cut off, and that's that's not a good thing to have my king like cut off. I could get checkmated, theoretically, like it could be someone. But I What am I supposed to do here? King g6? Maybe I'm supposed to go king g6. Interesting. He's getting in time trouble. That's our hope. You want to know what draws? I think that draws. Because my king's cut off. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong about that. Well, now I'm going to grab a few of the pawns. And I'm going to get this guy. His king is not in a good spot. That's something that helps. Now he's doing it. Uh, why, why, why did he sack now? He's just got in time trouble? I picked up an extra pawn with that one. Rook here, then king up. Rook check, king here. Rook here, then I can just go for checkmate. Actually, no, that pawn's hanging. Okay, that's a good variation. What's this? What is this endgame? Alright, let's take. Taking can't be wrong, can it? So, Rook here. Oh, thanks for the veggies, Alan. Here, I'm good with this one. Appreciate it. Oh, salary and carrots. Hope that helps me win. Thanks, Alan. Rook G5. He shouldn't trade anything. Okay. I know... I'm gonna bring my king up. I'm gonna bring my king up. If here, I'm gonna go there. If the rook tries to move like this, I'm gonna give him a check. He's got this move. Shit. He's gonna draw. He's playing well. He's playing well. Rabbit food. I'm a ra I can be a rabbit. I can nibble on you. <sighs> I mean, my king's cut. The, the whole issue with this position the entire time is my king's been cut off. Ideally, I want this rook to move anywhere but the fourth so I can play king here. Oh. Okay. I wanted that. His rook should have stayed on the fourth. Getting king h2 in is going to make things very tricky. Now if the rook moves away from the uh, f-file, I'm going to play rook f5 check. Just to cut the king off. What happens if I do this? No, this isn't a win. This is not a win. I have to trick him. I can't do it on the H file, right? I don't think it's... It's not a win on the H file. His king, as long as his king stays between these squares, I don't, don't think this is winning. 
I'm trying to figure out how to trick the guy. This king is close enough. Yeah, my rook was on g2, I played like this. I don't want to just keep pushing the pawn mindlessly. to work to one work here he's offering a draw again I want to cut the king off the king needs to be cut off of oh, he found it he found it Please go king up. Although it still might be. Yeah. It's supposed to be a theoretical draw. Maybe I'm missing something. I think this is a draw. I, the king is always close enough. This, you don't do with the with the h-pawn or the a-pawn. G2, rook h7. Okay, we'll try that one more time. We have to figure out how to trick him. But yeah, usually usually the king is uh, on the e file. So I kicked the king off the e file. E file is close enough. D file is a loss. But uh, e file should be fine. Play rook here. I'm not sure if that's clever or not. I hope he moves his king. Sorry, king here. Then I have king g2. If the king gets booted off of these squares, I'll be winning with king g2, but. Uh... Okay, it's one of the issues with the, with the pawn, is that you can't bridge his king's. Comes back in time, eh? So, yeah, there's no way to win this by force, but it's not even easy to trick. Trick your opponent, you know? Ideally, my king's here, and my rook would be like here, so that when he goes check, then I can block. But like, I can't do that. Can't do that. Well, let's see here. Let's see if there's anything tricky that can be done. King g3, rook check. My king has to go back. You can't block, guys. It's a draw. You just have to count kings in time to get to h1. Just count the squares. Yeah, it's a draw, he's playing well. 
Not sure how to be tricky here. I don't know how to be tricky. Don't know how to be tricky, unfortunately. Had some energy this game. Okay, I blundered the exchange with that mouse slip, but... I don't know. I don't know if I missed something. It's kind of frustrating. Go for the win. I, I am going for the win. That's why the game is still going on. There's no flagging, guys. There's increment. We're here for good chess. We're here for some good chess. Very magic. Thanks for the 500 bits, man. Yeah, see, I don't even know how to... Tr you can't even trick someone here. <laughs> I don't think you can trick anyone. Like, a lot of drawn positions, they have to play really well. Unfortunately, with the H1, white doesn't need to play... That doesn't need to know much. You just can't blunder almost. <laughs> Most positions you can blunder. This one, this one is very... Very clear. Let me just try one more time. I'm not trying to flag him at all. I definitely well, I won't anyways. He got he's got increment, right? So let me give let me pass for a second. Ideally I'd want him to play king f3. Then I can play rook b2 and at least say that he's cut off from moving this way. Still a draw, I think. Go here. He knows what he's doing. He unfortunately knows what he's doing. But we'll play it out. Even if this is a draw, you should play it out just to get the practice, you know, for the viewers. Just to see how, why, even when you get the pawn to h2, it's a draw. But it's been a draw from the very beginning. But let's just play it out. He's playing well. He's playing well. Yeah, the h pawn, unfortunately, is. Uh, I had a feeling as soon as my king was cut off, like. h pawn is just. Wait a second. What did he? Whoa, whoa, whoa! King e2. What was that move? What happens if I just try to queen now? King g2 to queen. He's got two checks. This one doesn't do anything because it's free rook. This one I go here, check again, I go there. He's out of checks. I can come out of my hole. I can come out of my hole. Let's double check. King g2, are there any stalemate tricks? No, this king's got all this grazing space on the, on the other side of the board. King here, here, takes, nothing. Here, king here, rook check. Uh, king up, rook check, king up, runs out of check. King here, rook down, queen, check. Sorry. King da uh, here, rook here, queen, rook g8 check. And I can zigzag. And there's no perpetual. There you go. There you go. We get to practice rook against king now. A 
Okay. Oof. That's why you have to play things out. You have to play things out. It's not on... I have the extra pawn. I'm definitely not going to accept a draw. Unless... I'm like... Okay, I'm playing like a GM maybe or something. But like... You know, it's not like I'm playing... I... I they have to still play accurately. It can be a draw, but you still have to play well. There were a lot of people here saying I should have taken the draw. I'm like, guys, that's not what chess is. Just because something's theoretical, th theoretically a draw, the hard part's actually remembering how to do it and playing accurately the whole way through. It's, just, it's the jorts, guys. The jorts are providing some very good vibes right now. And you guys are underestimating the effect not not just a placebo effect